console gaming and cars have always been kind of incompatible. But now, automakers are changing that. See, as they invest heavily in software and over-the-air updates for their vehicles, in-car entertainment is also being levelled up. And that's creating a new source of revenue for car manufacturers and software developers. So what's on offer today and what's coming down the road? Let's find out. Okay, so while in-car gaming might seem like fun in games, quite literally, for automakers, it's set to be big business. McKinsey research suggests that in-car entertainment could generate between 30 to $60 billion in value by 2030. And as many automakers push towards an autonomous future, it follows that they should also bolster their entertainment offerings for a future when drivers might not have to pay attention to the road. So what's available? Well, let's start with the dashboard. At CES 2023, NVIDIA announced that its GeForce Now cloud gaming platform, which includes over a thousand gaming titles, would soon be available in cars that use its NVIDIA Drive ecosystem. That's Polestar, BYD and Hyundai. The games are only accessible from the front when the car is stationary, but players in the back can game on the go. Then there's BMW's partnership with N-Dream, which was announced last year. N-Dream's gaming platform, called Air Console, is accessed through the dashboard and controlled using smartphones. And if you think this looks fun, wait till you see what else BMW has planned. More on that later. Now, if you're a Tesla owner watching this, you're probably wondering what all the fuss is about. After all, some Tesla owners have been able to stream content and play games in their cars for years, at one point even while driving, which got them into some hot water. But the company recently dramatically expanded its gaming offering by adding the Steam gaming platform to the latest Model S and X vehicles, which means you can play thousands of the latest games as long as you're parked. But what if you wanted a more immersive experience that completely takes you away from a boring journey while somebody else handles the driving? Enter Holoride. The startup has developed an in-car VR gaming experience, featuring a headset which, and this is the clever part, syncs up with the movement of your vehicle. So if the car turns left, so does your in-game character. And this resolves this conflict in the inner ear, and you don't get motion sick as easily as you do otherwise. Until recently, this tech was only available in certain Audis, but at CES 2023, Holoride unveiled a retrofit kit that allows you to install it into any vehicle. Uber drivers, I'm looking at you. All of that tech is set to be available this year. But what about the future? Well, automakers are betting that augmented reality is going to play a big part in the future of in-car entertainment. At CES 2023, BMW showcased this, it's iVision D concept, which features a slider where you can essentially dial in how much reality you want to see. This is where you open the portal to the virtual world. Bored of your surroundings? World getting a little bit too bland? Turn the slider all the way up and experience a surreal new world, while hopefully not hitting anyone. I'm really hoping that car was supposed to be driverless. The company also pointed to a future where social feeds are pumped directly into the vehicle, and the car itself has a personality, much like Kit from Knight Rider. Do you wish further information on Silicon Valley? Hell no, I want to know who you are and how you're listening in. Now, as with many things CES, it's unclear how much of that fever dream is set to become a reality, though BMW have said that an advanced heads-up display is coming to its cars in 2025. But BMW is far from the only automaker to mention augmented reality in their future plans. At that same CES, Sony and Honda's new Afila EV and VW's ID7 all mention the technology. And at its software day in 2022, Stellantis pointed to its DS and Jeep brands all featuring augmented reality screens in the future. For now though, that remains a distant reality. So if you're going on a long, boring drive anytime soon, I'd recommend loading up on some good podcasts. 